Hey guys, it's Shade and welcome back to Cedar Zoo. Today's episode, we are going to be doing a underwater aquarium exhibit of some sort. I know we've done an underwater gallery for the Garnell crocodiles, but this one's going to be completely different. One, it's going to be a uh, dome type uh, sphere tunnel that you can walk through and there's going to be information in there there's going to be seats in there the guests are able to walk through and actually actually see animals swim up and around around them while they're while they're in the dome which is very cool now it does technically glitch a little bit i will get more into that in the future of the video yeah but it can be it's a little bit buggy but we'll get into that when we're actually doing it um but for right now we are doing the pathing system, which was a complete nightmare, to be honest. Like, I get rid of most... Uh, I wanted it to connect, but it just wasn't connecting. And when it did, it would glitch through the terrain and just look horrible like that. So, yeah, we end up not connecting it down there. And we have to... We ha Well, we have to... We'll, we'll have to connect it eventually. But for now, we just leave it like this. We just end up leaving it like that and we'll we'll work out another situation to connect it later. But I got this idea actually off uh, another Planet Zoo enthusiast builder creator, uh, Delay Designer. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but she's awesome. She does super, super cool builds. Um, yeah, so I got this from her and I think we pulled it off pretty well. It does, does take a bit to get it right and... Yeah, so there is a bit to it. So basically what you want to do is you want to obviously build your water area like so. And then what you want to do is have the path go under the level of terrain just a little bit like we're doing now. So lower it a little bit just so it's a bit lower than the actual level of the water. And then what you want to do, fill it back up. And then you got to make sure that you have uh, tunneling on because that's very important. And then you put the path through the water and it'll make it cut out like like that right there um it does get a bit glitchy with the sides of the path like so you can see but that's just because it's not meant to do this um so yeah it's a little bit glitchy but we we fix that we we cover all the sides we make it look good but yeah this is a good example of how to basically make an underwater aquarium walk type thing i don't really know what to call it so yeah that's that's it um so yeah you want to make sure i might actually do a more in-depth real-time build on it and put it up separate to this video actually and do like a whole nother separate build and maybe just do like a tutorial on that so if you do want to see that and you're interested in yeah slow real-time actually more detailed um do let me know down below and i will i'll do that for you and we'll We'll do it as a um, as a team, but yeah, uh, this exhibit has about three or four different species of animals that swim and go on land as well. Because I definitely wanted a lot of animals that swim. Realistically, I should have done like a hippopotamus or like some other big ass elephant that likes water. These ones, they're they're pretty small, so you don't get the best um views around it of animals because there's probably not that many in but once they start mating and having babies you'll see, you'll start to be able to see a lot more swimming around which is very exciting but yeah realistically i should have done a bigger animal just because you get a bit better of a, an experience there so that's okay we live and we learn um but right here i'm just trying to do some sort of uh platform where they can look out into the water because there's I've actually brought a couple DLCs for it and there's more water habitat. Oh, one other thing is if you remove the water, you will not be able to place it back again. So make sure you do all the train work before you put the water in, unlike me, which we're doing it after. So yeah, make sure you do all the terrain work and everything that you need, um, like entrance to the water exit and yeah, make sure you do all of that before you fill it with water because once you fill it with water you cannot put the water back in without taking the path out flattening the train and doing it basically all over again so note to self 
make sure you do all of that first. So yeah, I, I reckon I will do a more in-depth video on it just because it's a lot to cover. And yeah, with that said, we are looking pretty good so far. We're making sure that there's like adequate pathing for the staff to get through. And then we add another path that goes around and connects to the top. So guests are able to come nice and close to the animals. We also do change it up quite a bit. And I reckon this exhibit will be taking a lot of time. So might even stream it and do some work on that. So make sure you follow me at twitch.tv forward slash Jade SP eight. And yeah, we'll do some work on it. But this is the first animal, they're otters. And they, I was like, oh, please tell me they can get in the water and they can because otherwise all this work would have been for nothing, but they can. And then I was seeing what other animals they can. didn't really follow those rules and just put in these little animals and some other ones. So they all get along great though. They're all, they're all happy as Larry. There's, yeah, there's, there's lots, lots and lots of uh, lovely friendships going on in this, in this exhibit. So this uh, video is m mostly going to be building the actual housing for the path under here and making this look presentable because right now it looks like a dog's hind leg um does not look good at all so yeah we cover up all these sides we do the dome glass pieces that travel along the top of the paths and then we also do a box because we do a t path unlike uh the video that i was referring to earlier the delay delay designer i don't know her video hers is just a straight line originally i did do that um but i i just didn't like the way it looked and wasn't feeling it so and i'm also hating these sides i thought i liked them i do not we change them don't worry we change them to just plain white blocks yeah we're doing a t path which makes it a little bit more difficult just because of the size and shape of the glass pieces so i'm yeah currently looking for some sort of plain white block to use for the sides of the wall so i'm doing i haven't I haven't built one of these before so i have no idea what to use so bear with me while i'm trying to figure out what to use um but yeah these here junction makes it quite difficult to use because the glass piece that we use are these ones and see the nice round shape, which is awesome. You can get like a full full view all the way over the top of your head and it looks really sick. But yeah, the problem was connecting this line to that line. So there was a bit, bit of build work to do. So yeah, this video is going to be mostly making this look all presentable and intact, which yeah, might not seem like a lot, but it takes a hell of a lot of time. Also, I really hate how the, how much tunneling takes away from the train underneath the path. It takes an enormous amount, which is so annoying. So yeah, right here I was trying to figure out what to do. And we have been watching, re-watching Jaws. And we watched Jaws 3. And at the end they go into like some sort of control tower um, for like rescuing some other people or whatnot anyway and it's similar to this it's got like the dome and then there's buildings where people can go in there's different doors and everything like that so i sort of got inspiration from that to do this section because up to, up until then i had no idea what i was doing um so yeah we do a just like a square building here and fill in all the sides and make it I mean, it looks waterproof, or well, I assume it is. I tried to, I tried to get all the cracks filled in. So yeah, that's where I got my inspiration from. So it's, it's definitely a little rough because it's the first one that I've ever built, but I think it looks good. I am, I'm pretty happy with it and it looks sick. So I'll definitely have to do a walkthrough of this one because I think people will, I hope people will be excited to see it. So I'm, ex I'm excited with how it came out. And yeah, I think, it, I think it looks good. There is a few, yeah, like glitches with it. Like when you walk in there, you can only be a certain height above the 
path otherwise it looks like you're in water like it does now so that's why it's the that's why it's looking a bit dark or a different a uh, different color from when I come outside and stuff like that because yeah I'm underwater which it's okay is what it is doesn't really doesn't really affect anything just makes it a little bit darker but I've added the flashlight onto it to make it a little bit more brighter so it's not as noticeable but yeah that's one of the glitches because it's technically not meant to be in the game um, they haven't Frontier haven't added, actually added any sort of underwater walks or anything like that um, which is a bit disappointing but is what it is for the meantime this will have to do so yeah i'm just trying to make it look as best as i can doing what i'm doing so yeah it's it's also pretty tall as well like you can see the top of the water is just there so it's actually pretty good actually there's there's we we i'm not sure if we add them now or whenever but i have seen um oh uh, they're for the otters they're enrichment items they're little floating raft type things that they can actually climb up on and like chill on there and do whatever so maybe we can put one on top of this block so from outside it can't really see anything which is cool you can see that you can still see like the dome and everything like that but i think that'll be i think that'll be pretty cool to to add to it just to cover it up a little bit so i think i think we might do that good by hiding sort of most of the curbs and everything like that so yeah i tried i tried my best guys it's the first time i've built something like this so bear with me and then we're going to fill in this uh top here just because i don't like how it's different heights so yeah we'll make it all one one level and that'll see what i mean by the different camera like that's normal and then it goes to underwater once we get higher like there so it's a bit annoying but it doesn't really it doesn't really matter once you once you're looking at it for a while you get used to the water view so it's it's not too bad but yeah that's what i mean you can sort of see a little bit on the, the roof from going all the way up there because it's so close to it and then I really tried to make it symmetrical on the other side, but for some reason I didn't know what I was doing. So yeah, we don't get it completely symmetrical, but that's okay. Is what it is. I'm I'm happy with it. Doesn't really doesn't really matter that much. It still looks good. So yeah, I definitely wanted to be wanted it to be very uh, information based. So we add a bunch of screens add a bunch of uh, information things in here some seats so guests are theoretically able to come in here and just sit down and look at the animals which is really sick like i think that's a really cool concept so i think they should definitely add some sort of underwater tunnel system which would be i'm, I'm assuming it would be quite difficult now we are working on the side pieces so the sides were a little bit more difficult than the well, than anticipated and more difficult than the uh, actual main building, I reckon, just because the sides are like janky and a little bit wider than the path. So I had to make do, I th I'm assuming a few guests will like clip into it because it covers the path a little bit. I wanted to try and cover up as much of the actual side panels of the glass as possible. So I did the walls as high all the way up to it and then yeah, covered the sides of it with this concrete block that comes all the way out. So it's, I think it looks pretty good. Like it's like, it's got the actual side retaining walls and also like proper construction to it. And then they've put the domes over and then they have filled it up with water. So I think it looks, I think it looks pretty good. I, yeah, I've done my best to try and cover up as much of the terrain and the excess path as possible. So I think, I think we've done a pretty good job here with, there will be some little bits here and there that, um, that clip in and you're able to see a little bit, but that's okay, is what it is. Um, I knew going into this, it wasn't going to be perfect one because I've never built this before and two it's a bit glitchy so i didn't really have super high expectations on building it in the first place so i think with what we've done i did my best to try and yeah
cover up everything and I think it's okay. We do rocks around the edges as well to cover up like most of this excess either the domes or like the building side of it. So I think with the rocks and like we'll add a few plants and stuff like that. I'm actually super excited to do all the plant and rock work for this because I've never really done a super underwater like main underwater attraction specifically for like underwater viewing so when you do like lakes and stuff in like exhibits most of the time you put a few rocks in there you put a couple plants in there and that's sort of it like but here i had to make it look pretty damn good because most of the time people are going to be wanting to come under under here and check it out so yeah i had to make it had to make it look pretty good and also didn't help that the whole thing sort of sort of sideways a little bit as you can see here it's not completely straight so that's awesome i am super happy with how that worked out the the path straight at the start you would have thought that that was 100 straight but turns out it's not so that's that's why it's a little bit messed up and i try to do my best at making this completely symmetry symmetry like complete symmetry no idea what i was trying to do so yeah i just made a point at the top and connected them together like that and it's all right it's it's all right we might actually add some uh like vines or something maybe that could look make it look a little bit better than than what it does just to try and hide the fact that it's just a big concrete wall at the end the other side looks uh, look, looks a little bit better i think but yeah that side not so much definitely makes it look more complete um it looks like some sort of space expedition from up up above but that's okay that's all right that's that's okay the guests will love it i think and it'll be a good attraction once it's completely finished because i haven't finished it in the in this episode i am yet to like have it fully open and working if that makes sense like most of this time is paused because one the animals kept escaping and I, I was sick of getting notifications. Two, I was working quite a bit under here and I was sick of going up and down. So yeah, most of this time is paused. So I haven't had too much of a chance to actually see guests come down in, in, in here, but that's okay. They will eventually and they'll love it. And if not, that's okay. I'll love showing it off I'm just working on this end wall here and then we'll do a bit of i tried copy and pasting it it was somewhat the same and then yeah we do a bit a bit a little bit of rock work and then a little bit of um oh there's a little otter it's so sick they it looks so cool from i might actually make the transparency of the water look at that it looks so sick a uh, little bit more see-through than what it actually is so you're actually able to see see them really well because at the mo at the minute it's a little bit a little bit dark just because it's like natural water so obviously there's going to be a bit of a bit of uh blurring and glare to it so these seats were were a little bit of a as you can clearly see an annoyance to try and work with they just i wanted to try and get it as far back as possible we got one in and I believe we do another one, but if we don't, that's okay. Um, but yeah, these are the, some of the new rocks from the DLC that I got. So we cover up as much of this excess as we possibly can to try and just make it look a little bit more neat, tidy, natural. And yeah, just try and make it look like it's somewhat water resistant and, you know, waterproof. So this is, this is what we do for the rest of the episode just a bunch of rock work and make it look make it look pretty as as best as we can you know i like my decorating and my rock work so yeah this is this is what we do realistic with different types and shapes of rocks and then we go through and add a few more or a few of some raised sea water plants i don't even know what i'm trying to say but i'll I'll tell you what I mean when they when they come up but yeah I think it looks it definitely looks a lot better with with rocks around it and yeah covering up all these edges definitely 
definitely looks a lot better. So I'm glad we did that. I still didn't want to try and hide, like I didn't want to try and have the rocks too high just because I didn't want to take away from the whole looking underwater aspect. But I think I, I think I did a pretty good job with like keeping it somewhat low, but still also covering it all, if that makes sense. So like, yeah, I'm pretty, pretty happy with with how it all turned out i think we will put the something that um buoy type thing on top of this building here just because it looks a little bit looks a little bit dodgy from the top so i think we'll we will put that in at the next episode or the stream or if i remember i don't know i'm recording this after i've already done this gameplay obviously so sometimes i forget things now we're just doing a little bit of plant work before the end of the episode we don't go all out with the plants in this episode um just because it's probably already long as it is so we just try and make it look a little bit more natural with lots of lots of bushes and st just sort of low plants that you would think would be underwater so yeah i try my best guys so yeah Hopefully you enjoy the look of it because I really enjoy building this and there's going to be a lot more episodes to come. So with that being said, hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like if you did. Make sure to subscribe if you are new so you don't miss anything and I will see you in the next episode, which hopefully will be soon because it's the new year. So I'm trying to get more consistent with, with videos. Okay, see ya.